hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to fetch the categories and display it in the user side so in our e-commerce in the previous video we had made this featured product section so here we will be adding a categories tab in the nav bar and we will open a page of the categories so in that we will fetch all the categories and later we will add a section over here of the top categories which we have inserted as trending so let us start with the coding part so first let us open our routes and web.php save and first let us open the nav bar now views layouts includes front nav bar this is the login register remove this and here Oops. yeah till here remove here say category let us create a URL over here say URL category so just copy this URL go to your web.php and here we are just going to create a route get paste comma and here we'll call our front end controller class and the category function category copy that add a semicolon over here save now let us go to our front end controller so that will be inside our app http controllers front end and front end controller here we will create a function say public function just paste that category and here we are going to say return view we are going to create a page over here in the front end so close this inside your resources views you have this front end right so inside front end we have index blade so here let us make a category so say new file category dot blade dot php hit enter and just copy the layout from this index page as well just copy this part copy paste and copy this end section and paste it over here save and this will be the categories page right so i'll just put the title as category and now let us go to the controller and send all the data so before sending it so we are inside which folder so inside the views so it is front end and category so let us say front end dot category okay save let us keep dollar category equal to call your category model and say where status is zero of get okay so what this is telling is wherever the status is zero for which category that thing we have to get so if you remember i'll just show you i'll go and login and say gmail.com login okay in your categories if you see this part edit and this status you can see right if this is checked it will be one so we have uh, hidden that category so that category should not be visible so we are filtering along with according to this status so i'll just update this to zero so it should be visible okay and here you can see where status is zero so now we have got all the category in this variable let us just pass it over here in a compact function compact within single quotes just paste that name without the dollar symbol okay so now go to your front end category and here we are going to use the for each loop and display that so first let me say dot py and dot container row 
column md12 and inside this we are going to call our for each loop just paste your variable name over here as item or you can say cat a save and here we will be looping through all the categories so before that let me just say dot row control x paste yeah so here we will be saying dot call md4 card dot card hyphen body or this design you can just take it from the index page where we had done for this featured items so just copy that and close the navbar go to your category blade and just select this and paste instead of this item let us make it to call md4 and margin bottom 2 or 3 let us keep ok so images will be inside the public folder so let us go to the directory public inside assets uploads category so just change this products to category and inside that we have the category images so just copy this and paste ok so it's done over here and here let us say the alt tag category and then in the card body we will have the category description I mean the category name and then the description so instead of this selling product and original product price I am just going to remove that and say within p tag I am going to display this dollar cat a of description or I think we have the small description right you can display that small description save and let us check the output save and go to the home directory and in this category tab let us click here ok so we have got this three categories which we have added so let us just add a heading over here and make it little small let's say column md3 and here say h2 say all category categories oops yeah save okay save and what about the small description so i think it's not yet come here no so i think we have given the database field name wrong let us check it, check it in our models app models category i have given just a description over here just copy that and paste it over here save and now just refresh Uh, why is it not showing let me check in the database so here inside our categories table and the description is there right so it's everything is perfect here so why is it not displaying or here now let me just check category of description that's something fishy let me just check description here it is just script save and refresh so it's over here yeah so now let us see in the home page so here let us fetch the trending categories okay so let us show you paste and we'll go to the dashboard categories so you can see there are totally four categories here and only three has been fetched over here in the category so let us just make the other one also visible so I think this is the one and make it visible and make it to popular ok update and this thing is just saw right the popular one so we are going to fetch the popular thing whichever is there the trending categories so let us go to this page and 
and this home page will be adding the next section after this featured products you're going to the trending category so it's simple guys so we'll go to that home page close the INC layouts the front end we have index blade right so this is the featured product section so just copy that same thing copy and paste instead of featured products let's say trending category save and if you need you can keep this all carousel for this or you can just remove it I'll just leave it like this so I'll say trending carousel save and so it's going to be the same thing right so you can use that same carousel you don't have to repeat the same code so let us just send the products which we want to send through the controller so in our front end controller here you can see we have the featured products I'll just show you from the web.php on the home path we are going to the index function of this front end controller so on the front end controller index function we have sent the trending products so now we'll be sending the trending categories say trending category equal to category model where what is the database field name we will see popular right so say here where popular comma one here we'll say take 15 so when there is data more than 15 it will just take the latest 15 data okay say get save and we will pass this in the compact function comma paste now let us go to this index page and here just paste that so this is for the featured products this is for the trending category okay so don't confuse that so instead of this product I'm going to say trending category so I'll say T category copy that and paste it out here T category of image and it's not inside the products it's inside the category folder category so this is just the image okay as I showed you in the other file it will be inside your public assets uploads category you can see assets uploads category and the image and here the category name and remove this thing just copy from that category blade itself and paste save so this should do let us check the output go and refresh so there is some mistake over here at line number 45 let's go there okay I just forgot to change this name just paste it over here save and now just refresh the page and you can see featured products is over here and this is the trending category so that's it in this video guys so in the next video we will see how to open this category page so once we click on this category page I mean the category the products under this category will be visible in the next page so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again